Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out in Satisfactory again today. It's a bonus stream because of bonus bits on Twitch. It is September, Twitch subs are 25% off. And right now, uh, just today, as a matter of fact, it's the last day, Twitch is also doing bonus bits for any 300 bit donation. They are adding 10% and maybe even a little bit more. So I thought I would throw up a stream. I've been excited to get back into Satisfactory. I've wanted to stream more with this game anyway, and uh, I had some time because the Spawn Chunks podcast got done a little bit early today. So I was able to publish it in good time and still be able to fit in a stream before the end of my workday. So hope that everybody's having a good day so far. You can check out the new podcast at thespawnchunks.com or wherever you find your favorite podcasts. And uh, you can check out all of these other VODs here on uh, Satisfactory at Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. I've been publishing these pretty much immediately after I have them finished, usually the next day. Hold on for one second. Thank you. I'm muted. Um, yeah, I'm expecting a call, so I have to leave my phone uh, on today. Um, but yeah, welcome into Cosmic. Thanks for all the links in chat. Uh, Dan, good to see you. Thanks for the heads up on the mic. And Scotsman UK and Superfast, good to see you as well. Uh, we're going to jump into the Devastator save because that seems to be working okay. I played for an hour the other day uh, working on some formulas and stuff. Uh, some plans, and it seemed to be working all right. Uh, barring any crashes and uh, other potential problems, uh, we do have the um, early save, the um, grass fields save that we can give uh, a try if this decides to crash on me. So uh, we have been thinking about a few things here, and one of the things I'd like to sort out is the bottleneck which is the train station uh, we have to figure out what we're going to do for the train height adjustment and i think what i've done down there which you can just sort of see in the background uh, is going to be a, a good indication uh, on the height i'm going to go double check that and then i think what we're going to do is uh, see what one or two lines would look like coming down through here uh, and maybe make our decisions based on that. So first things first, we are going to scoot down this way. Cosmic Dancer with 600 bits. And that triggered Twitch to do an additional 90 bits. And then an additional 45 bits on top of that. That's amazing. Thanks so much, Cosmic. They need to get rid of that noise. It's really not great. All right, let's grab one of these foundations. We're going to go in the middle. So I've decided on three foundations, 12 meters above the main bus. I don't think I'm going to go any higher than that. We could try to see what it would look like. We could do another test here. To go up by another 4 meters. I feel like this is going to be too high. I'm 
So that's 12 meters, and that's 16 meters. I don't know. What do we think, chat? Uh, correction, Bali684 did on-screen celebration that doesn't come up with the noise alert for you, but 300 bits. Really? How did that happen? There's a hype train close. Anybody wants to add another 100 or more bits in the next two minutes? Uh, did an on-screen celebration that didn't come up with a noise alert for you, but is 300 bits, which is out of 30 bits. Really? How come that didn't show up then? I'm not seeing it at all in my in my Streamlabs. Like why why would it be different for for Bali? That's weird. Thanks for the heads up. Uh did that show up? I don't see it in chat either. Huh. That's unfortunate. I would really like to thank the generous people that are supporting me. You should see it in your activity feed, but it doesn't come up as a notification for you. It's one of those power-ups in like a giant giant emote. Oh, so I have to be... So it doesn't show up in OBS then? Because I've got my Twitch chat in OBS, but it doesn't look like that is showing up. I need to double check to see what's happening with OBS and why it's not taking care of those um, screen celebrations because that's not good. Um, I don't see it in my activity feed either, Cosmic. Yeah, like not at all. It's not in my t activity feed today at all, even on even on Twitch. Like twitch.tv, the website, just not showing up. Oh, there it is. Wait a minute. Four minutes ago. Yeah, that's um, that's not great that Twitch doesn't, or I guess OBS, I should say, isn't picking those up. I'll have to see if I can, is there a filter maybe? Uh... Twitch charity donations, Twitch pledges, Streamlabs nurch, uh, merch tips, charity donations, minimums. No, all the Twitch boxes are checked for the filters. DM me a photo. Thank you, Cosmic. Um, anyway, cool. <laughs> Derails the stream. Well, you know. I think Twitch and OBS have derailed the stream, not you. Um, I don't know, folks. What do we think? Do we want the higher train? I feel like that might be just a little bit extra room. So that's 16 meters. Let's jump in here. And yes, thank you for the bits, Bally. I really appreciate it. I hope that came across in the mayhem. Uh, Scotsman UK, another streamer, says, OBS can't show the on-screen celebration because it goes over the video in the player, which is client-side only. It shows up as a message in chat and should show up in your activity feed, which you have as a panel in OBS, which is how I've kept tabs on things. I've only got Twitch chat and Twitch stats. I don't have my activity feed. I've got a Streamlabs recent events feed, but I guess that's only Streamlabs. It's not showing Twitch stuff. I don't have the screen real estate. I need to get a bigger monitor for my second monitor. All right, so here is our um, main bus again, and I'll get, we'll grab this and we'll go up for one, two, three, four. So 
So even then, does doesn't get us all that high when it comes to being all the way down here, right? So it's not much of a height adjustment. I mean, it's certainly a little bit. We'd get at least four, uh, if not... So we'd have an extra two um, spaces here. The chances are what I would do is I would raise the platform to that level. Uh, the question is, I guess it doesn't really matter out there because we can just raise and lower the train as we see fit once it leaves this area. But that's not bad. So this could potentially be like on the ground instead of in the air. And then the other question is, do we want to have one of these or two of these be the other question? I feel like we could do side by side that might look like a little bit much It's not as cool looking as one. So I think maybe we stick with one. What do we think? Bally says, no worries. I gave bits to support, not for the credits, but appreciate the call out. Oh, you're welcome. And yeah, I mean, I do I do want to try to call everybody out. That's a me thing. Um, but, uh, but thank you again. I really appreciate it. Zero, what's up? Uh, new camera is being used. I say, yeah, actually, I moved it back to this desk after this bun chunks today. I want to try to use it as much as I can to get used to it uh, and work out the, the bugs. We had some frame rate issues in the recording. The stream, I think, was fine, which is what threw me. When I was watching myself on the monitor during the podcast this morning, it looked okay, um, but it had some problems. I also noticed, and I, I maybe shouldn't call this out, but across the top of my glasses on the video, it's pixelated. And it shouldn't be because it's a full 1080p 60 FPS feed from the camera into the iMac. And so I don't know why. I was able to, I think, in the recording settings, change some stuff to get myself um, a better, uh, smoother video without the frame drops. But I couldn't get rid of the weird pixelation and I don't know what's going on. You're not going to notice it in the little 4x3 window up like in the top corner here on, on a stream. Am I just pixelated in real life? Yeah, sometimes I wonder. Hmm, I don't know. Dual trains could look cool. Do we want to go two? Do we want to plan for two? Or plan for one? Might have something to do with reflective surfaces? Yeah, maybe. I don't know, I kind of like the monorail vibe. I 
I think I like the height. I, th I prefer the higher one. We don't have to... Um, commit to one or two right away. And two looks fine, too. Two does cover up more of the main bus. Not that it really matters from up here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So that would give us a platform that would be much, much higher. We'd have a lot more of this. All of this could go straight in. We'd have no issues there. So this would be the new corner of the platform. The actual build itself would be much taller. Thanks for the lurk, super fast. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's just going to be beefier, I think. In a good way. So we could either decide to have the train run underneath it, or we could have... Well, the train here would run on top of it, actually. I don't think it really matters one or two right now, because no matter what, we'd have to get rid of this train station. I think we'd have to go with uh, one, two... Three, four, five instead of six. That or we expand the train station to be farther to the north, but I don't know how much room we have over there. I don't think it's a lot. Well, a little got 12 meters well no no we don't no we're kind of on the edge it's really cool to see the hover pack get charged when you're in the tube you got all these lightning bolts attached to you it's kind of fun you've got what's known as a smidge of room yeah in this game, that seems to be a constant. So we could still do... We could still do uh, a little bit of height adjustment. I might be able to push this back this way. I wonder what kind of room we have going on this side. So here we've got a little bit more room too, and that could be quite useful. So you can see I didn't actually finish the train station on that side. We've got a little bit more, and again it would be higher, so even if it was higher we could have the feet be up here, I think it would still be viable. So I say we think about that and start to, th what I want to do is I want to start to plan my main storage. And I, this train is, I think, going to be what brings in the main storage. So what I want to do, unfortunately, it's going to make screenshots really tricky, is um, I'll take this down for now. I 
I'll leave this up here in the corner. That's the new height for the train station. And then let's just see what adjustments we'd have to make if we extended this all the way down. Obviously, it's not gonna. It's gonna hit the. Um, the bridge there. So we'd have to get rid of this walkway, but that's fine. I'm not like married to it or anything. Because this is going to influence what we do with the front of Devastator here. This whole design. And I'll figure out a way to make these even later on. Any of the frame hitches that you're seeing are the uh, the game saving, and I have it on a quick autosave because we've been losing some work with some crashes. So, uh, was it something you planned a while back? Train going down the middle, or have you met, um, or have I imagined it? No, no, no. I had thought about it and then decided against it. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was trucks down here, but I think this is just going to be easiest for us to move around. Um, this is something that I've decided to do. More of a, a train situation. I just think it would look neat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a couple of these here and there. Maybe we'll do like a little... Uh, no, I want ramps. Why are you not snapping to where I want you to snap? It's annoying. I guess I'll use the big one. Like, come on, I know. I guess maybe every second is probably a good idea. Why? Why won't you let me snap to the thing? That's just annoying. I really wish they had to work that stuff out before they released it.
I mean, the solution is just not to delete that stuff first, but it just feels odd. So we'll come up with a better way to support this. I have to say the sound effect of constantly getting zapped while you're wearing the, um, the, the hover pack is a little annoying. I almost, uh, I'd almost want to turn it down. I think I can. So it would be something like this. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. We could maybe move the poles and figure out where the timing and supports are going to be. Probably based on this chunk here, because this is covering up a rock that's down there. There's a couple of things here that are covered up on purpose. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. So what that then changes is how we approach this area here. And I think it's time to get rid of this old, ugly chest piece and start to think about how to space out the interior because we've got to figure out the height of a train. I want to say a train station is six foundations or more. I think they actually tell us in the... Do they tell us how big they are? Now, darn it. That's a crash. Well, glad the autosave's working, but this might be a short planning session, unfortunately. Nuts. I wonder if it has something to do with hypertubes. I feel like the last couple times I've crashed it's been using hypertubes. I did see something on Reddit where people were showing you how to how to dump your shader cache for satisfactory. Or specifically for Unreal Engine, but I don't, I don't quite know how to do it. So I will not last long if this continues. However, we do have the grassy fields save start to return to. So um, I hope it's not. Somebody mentioned in on YouTube that they thought that my video card was pretty subpar, which, I mean, sure, if you want to be a tech bro. Um, but the the issue is that I've been playing Satisfactory up to update 8, including update 8, fine for a while, right? Like, I I didn't have any issues before 1.0, and I know people that have much better systems than I do. For example, Cosmic has a much better system than I do, uh, and they're experiencing crashes with not even a big save. It's just a regular starting save, right? So, 537, that's only three minutes ago. I'll do a proper save when we log in. Works better when you can see what? Oh, the game hasn't rebooted yet. It has now. Um, save.
Uh, this is planning devastator bus train. <laughs> bus train. <laughs> Out of context, it doesn't make a lot of sense. You can't even get five minutes with a crash cosmic? That sucks. That's like that's unplayable for you. I mean it's we got what? Thirty minutes ish? Because the first five minutes of the stream was was just me um on the on the starting soon screen. Dan, are you experiencing crashes as well? Okay, what I was going to do was go down here. Right, so you can see where I was starting to measure things out a little bit. Uh, so if we look in the transport section, train stations. Don't know if they tell you about this in No, I don't want to build it. I want to look it up in the H. Oh, there we go. Maybe the satisfactory wiki will tell me. I mean, I could just build one, but I'm just thinking that it might be a little bit easier. Train station. Um, current also gallery history. Ah, here we go. Height, 20 meters. Width is 34. Length is 16. Height is 20 meters. So that's from here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That so would have to be up higher. So I think six was like the clearance in my head. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's another crash. All right. Well. I'm not going to mess around with this. If I'm going to try to do measurements and having to keep on over, you know, redoing them every three minutes. We didn't even last five minutes there, I don't think. Um, so we'll switch over and play on the starting save. And we'll see what's going on. I really don't know. I, I tried syncing the files before we started. Um, but I've got... I can sit here and play for two hours and do notes and mess around. Um... And then I can also stream for two hours. It's not just streaming. Um, the other day we were streaming and it crashed every 15 minutes. The other day we were streaming and it crashed twice in four hours. So there's not really much I can do. Uh, Zero says, send me a PM in Discord. I can figure PCs for a living. Maybe I can help with your settings. Uh, not been experiencing any crashes. Zero, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I will reach out. Uh, I'll do it after stream. Uh, but uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, all right, well, let's load in the um, tier one save. This will be a little bit more chill anyway. The tricky part, of course, is uh, maybe I have to try and edit the VOD later on. So I'll do a little intro in case I need to trim the video for anybody that might be coming to this later. Normally, I try to end the stream and start it up again, um, which, you know what? That might be the easiest thing to do. Give me one second, folks. I'm just going to try something. 